This is Christian Buckley with another MVP Buzz Chat, and I'm talking today with May. Hello. Hi, how are you? Thank you for having me today. Doing well. And for folks that don't know who you are, where you are, what you do, why don't you give us your background? Okay, sure. So my name is Mayil Hadri. I'm from Saudi Arabia, Middle East. And actually, I'm a digital analyst within Schumberger Company. I have five years experience with different projects within oil and gas industry. And I started my journey as a power addict. And now I'm in VB. That's great. And I know it's a very fast growing community around the power addicts and a lot that's happening there. A lot of great community discussion around that. I know a lot of uh, community activities and events that used to be like very SharePoint or then Microsoft 365 focused are have expanded and now include power platform and you know so there's just more and more of that happening what was kind of your path into becoming an mvp so actually uh, as i mentioned i started as a power addict on the social media so um, before actually i saw our digital engagement manager alan chai he was posting a lot of things within our uh, yammer yammer it's similar to the facebook but it's for uh, organization purpose to the power platform to the power addicts community the hangout session all this stuff so actually i was like super jealous that i wanted to be part of this amazing community how can i be part outside of my company because I'm uh, I'm very famous within my company on Yammer as a on the internal social media that we have it so when I saw him that he posting a lot of things I asked him like what should I do to be part of this power addict community is there any specific process I need to follow and he told me just create your Twitter account you know and start to post and share your knowledge through the community and the people they will start to recognize you and from there i start to post a lot of things related to a uh, power platform the troubleshooting a lot of things related like for uh, power apps i build a lot of apps and share it through the community then i learned a lot of things from other people actually and even i start to speak a lot of uh, session with other uh, community and now actually I built my own community. I call it Sharing is Caring with a meetup with more than 500 members. So a lot of things like uh, it's coming because of the positive vibes around me, because of the support that it happened within this uh, amazing community. And from there, actually, the people, they start to, to ask me, um, did someone nominate you to be as an MVP? A lot of people, they start to recognize me that I can be an MVP. Uh, to be honest, uh, I... I was MVP, and why do we have MVP? Then Alan, he talked to me that because he is already an MVP, uh, I think for two years, and he told me like um, MVP actually it's a Microsoft program. He started to explain to me th the whole process that we have it from Microsoft, and I said, wow, so I already I'm ready to be an MVP. He said, I'm gonna nominate you, and yes, he nominated me for the first time, and I still remember within the community that someone is in nominate me and I'm going to fill the form. I get a lot of feedback like, oh, you are not MVP, uh, not yet. So they, they was like surprised about how I'm not MVP uh, for a long time. So I get the confidence that so I will get it for sure. So um, actually then uh, many people, they come to me every month. I remember every month for the email my just wait for the email. You're going to receive it. If not this month, maybe next month. Till the September. So I still remember my reaction when I received it. On I was driving on my car. Actually, it was 1st of September. And when I received it, I started to cry, actually, because it's my month and my birthday on September. I can, I'm going to share the video later on with you. It's really a crazy video. And I was really crying and I was surprised that finally I get it because I don't know that we have an MVB 
And I should be honest with you, when I start to share my knowledge, uh, I'm not sharing my knowledge to get some award actually, because my purpose to share my knowledge to others, because this is me, I really like to share my knowledge to talk to the other people, other culture, other uh, countries. So this is the main idea to become a famous or share my knowledge. So this is my story in a short way. Yeah, that, it's a very common story for for MVPs, and yeah. and uh, you know, and I know that there are there's nothing against you know people that say you know I yeah. really have a goal of becoming a Microsoft MVP and and getting involved with that. Uh, if I uh, say the only thing wrong with that is if you're not kind of already set up, you're not already doing those kinds of things, you know, giving back to the community because the majority of us, and I say this often, is that we would be doing the exact same things. We would be creating this kind of content, doing the community outreach, engaging and talking with each other and with inviting everybody in, whether or not we had the award. It's, uh, you know, so it's great to have that recognition. And there are certainly, there are great perks as you'll come to find out about being an MVP, for sure, there are benefits to being a member of, of the community. But again, it, it, it's, you were already doing the work and that's, I had the exact same response. I had a number of people that were like, I thought you were already an MVP and, and I, I can't yeah. believe you're not an MVP. And because I was already doing the volume of work and the activity and, and while I, I thought it would be nice to become, I mean, I was just, was going, you know, full bore, full steam ahead, whether or not I was an MVP. Yeah. And actually when I get it, I will email with the MVB. Uh, I have been checking through the site that how many MVB we have within Saudi Arabia. We have only three uh, males from Saudi Arabia. And it was like, if I become an MVB, I'm going to inspire a lot of women that around us and especially within Saudi Arabia. So now many people from Saudi Arabia, they start to ask me how I, how I can apply to this program. And I'm super happy to help them to what kind of path they need to follow to be part of this community and how they can share their knowledge, even if they don't uh, get the MVB award. So, right. yeah. It's well, that's, really cool. yeah, yeah that, that's a, it's a great, I think that's something that, you know, a, a lot of MVPs focus on as well as a great thing to focus on is, is looking and finding other new MVPs. And so, I mean, it, maybe that's mm -hmm. just advice for anybody that's out there that is doing a lot and wants to get more involved and is interested in potentially becoming one is to talk to an MVP, talk to May, talk to myself about, uh, you know, well, what is the process? What is the, the volume of activity, the types of activities that would be considered as contributions that would, uh, you know, that could help to help you stand out and, and potentially become one and then potentially have one of us, uh, uh, you know, nominate you as well. Because you do have to have a, a current MVP. I don't know if it's past MVPs because there's, there's actually, and here's another thing. I don't know if you're aware of this, but even if you, uh, you know, don't sustain your MVP and say, let's say your job role changes and you're just not able mm -hmm. to do as much with the community, but there's the MVP reconnect program. So you're always, you know, plugged into a community and there are some perks, some benefits to the reconnect uh, community. But again, once an MVP, always an MVP, you have the ability to participate in that, that community aspect, but. Well, very cool. So, so what is your, what's your day job? What do you actually do? So actually my current position, it's a digital analyst within Schumberger company. And my main job now uh, to focus on Power Platform, how I can automate the task for any product line or any department that we have it. For example, if they have any like a manual process, I help them to to make it as much as as automation process by using a different platform. And actually, I get my position, this position, because of Power Platform. Before mm -hmm. I was working as an IT on site support. Yeah. So when we start to have uh, a power platform tools within Schumberger company, uh, I get this position to be part of it. I started to post a lot of videos related to Power BI on Yammer. So Yammer, actually, it was my first tool to share my knowledge within my company. And I was still IT on site support. I show them like how we can do a troubleshooting. And I don't have any idea about Power Platform. About Power BI. Power apps and power automate a lot of uh, 
tools that around uh, around us and i was lucky that they uh, they provide us the license within my company and i start to learn it by myself getting a support from microsoft uh, learning and a lot of documents that we have it available then i start to share my knowledge through the yammer and from there the digital engagement manager recognized me and he put me to be as a digital analyst within saudi arabia within shamberger yeah that's very cool. So do you have any advice for somebody who is maybe they've started to play with the technology? Like, do you have any recommend, recommendations? Like, if you could do it all over again, where would you have started yes. with learning about Power Platform? So if you are new to the Power Platform, I really suggest for you to, to open Microsoft Learn. It's really a good site that you can learn a lot of amazing things for different tools, not only Power Platform. Uh, I started by learn all these tools by using Microsoft Learn. Plus, we have a lot of amazing people on YouTube. So for example, if you are new to Power Apps, we have Shane Young. He is an amazing person. I learned a lot of things from him, actually. And on all my podcasts, so it's really, if you are a beginner, you can learn a lot of things uh, from uh, Shane Young. So we have a YouTube, just search like about power apps or anything that you are looking for. And you're going to find a lot of MVBs, a lot of people, like even they are not MVB, they are posting and they are sharing their knowledge. And you can, uh, you can start from there, Microsoft Learn, YouTube. And if you have a Twitter, just search about power addict. There is a lot of things that are available there. If you have a question, you can post it there. So now with the social media, you have uh, like a full package to learn and you have everything free for you. Just make sure that opportunity to learn. Yeah. I know that like uh, the Facebook, the power platform community out in Facebook is huge. I, I don't remember the numbers, like some like 30 or oh, really? 4,000 people within it. So it's a great place to go. A lot of people, you know, just sure. post questions and, and, and do that. And of course you have, you know, tech community, you have, there's other resources for mm -hmm. that as well. Exactly. So other places where you can yeah. ask questions, but then go and, and learn. But if you're trying to build a solution for a specific problem, uh, you know, it's probably been built before and there are, uh, you know, people that you can talk to and get advice from of how to move forward and solve for that problem. So there's a great community and people should definitely leverage that, that community. Yeah. Exactly. The other thing yeah. about, uh, yeah, uh, like Power Apps uh, Gallery, there is a lot of templates available there. You, you can just download it to try to test it out by yourself and you can customize it. I did a lot of things before like, getting the templates that are available on the Power Apps Gallery or Power BI. Yes. Yeah. Why create something new when you can go and leverage the work that others have done around that? One thing I was going to say that, that exactly. I, I like, I know Shane, uh, unfortunately, if he sees this, his head will get even bigger. You know, around yeah, the you know, yeah. any, any praise for Shane, but uh, no, Shane is fantastic, and he, of, of course, uh, his training courses are are excellent. I've known him for many years, and he does a great job. So definitely need to somebody should go and follow Shane for sure. Um, but YouTube has been kind of become the default for if there's a question of how to do anything, it's where I go first now. If I'm fixing something in my car. If my dog is sick and I'm trying YouTube. to determine what it is, like I go, exactly. go to YouTube first. It's it's funny. Actually, l last week, something really fun. Uh, I need to change the battery of my uh, key for my car. And I don't know how to do it, actually. Recently, we, we are allowed to drive within Saudi Arabia. And I don't have any idea how can I change it. The, uh, the immediately source that I have it on the front of me, it's YouTube. I But like, how can I change the battery for my key card? And we have a hundred resources. So YouTube, it's really oh, yeah. a good resource for anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's amazing and how obscure the topic that there will be multiple entries out there for that, <laughs> how to do that thing. Yes. So yeah, I was exactly, just looking yeah. that I was looking for, uh, there was a, a Twitter thread of uh, like, what was your first computer that you've ever had? And you have some much younger people than myself and we're talking about you know my first version of windows was you know windows version eight like <laughs> you know, and, and uh but anyway so like and i yeah. of course that my first computer that i worked with was i think the model came out in 1980 and so i started using an 81 82 and as it was this old commodore pet computer and of course then you you have somebody who's even uh, you know 
older than me talking about using punch cards and things, you know, before that. But what's amazing is that I was just like, well, what was the version that I was using going back and doing the history and trying to find in the version of, of that, mm -hmm. and then finding videos of people that are, that have found and restored, like why you would want to go back and restore an old <laughs> pet computer with the old version of basic 4.0 and, you know, but there's people who have done it and do a walkthrough of that. And, and uh, so oh, I spent about, uh, you know, a, about an hour um, looking up and just kind of going down memory lane, looking at, because people had created these great videos. Uh, exactly. I was able to relive my junior high years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, very cool. So, so what's next for you on, on the community activities? Are you uh, venturing out to any events or everything still pretty much online for you? Yes, actually, uh, for the upcoming, actually, I have a plan for each month and every month, like I have eight sessions for two main topics, four sessions for Power Platform like about apps, power uh, BI or anything. And the other four topics actually related to the books, like leadership, like on September, actually I did eight sessions, one for a value proposition canvas uh, book. And actually it helped us to how to use the process to develop any project or any application. So I'm trying to put like uh, a campaign between the, the books that I'm reading plus the, the power platform to, to make sure that I can improve my skills in both area on the management on the leadership plus the power platform area so um, this is my uh, every month plan and also i have my uh, my like uh, schedule for each month like uh, what kind of post that i need to post it on twitter linkedin i'm super active on twitter linkedin and recently i create a tiktok account i'm trying to share my knowledge even on tiktok because i saw that a lot of people they are super active in tiktok so why not maybe we can uh, share our uh, vibes and our uh, sharing is killing on uh, tiktok and invite people to to be part of this community so this is my target now to, to reach out the people on TikTok, on Instagram. And, but for sure, I will be super active on Twitter, LinkedIn and Meetup. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's interesting. I, I know there's a lot of like, I'm, I don't you utilize you know, TikTok. I certainly, you know, consume mm -hmm. some content through TikTok. I know there's people that yeah. spend a lot of time on Instagram stories and I know Facebook yeah, yeah. has their version, those kinds of things. And, and I don't do, do any of those things. I just, I, I don't have time or personal interest. However, you know, there's reasons for going and utilizing those. As you said, that's people are spending a lot of time there consuming content through those platforms. And exactly. you, you do need to go and share through those platforms where people congregate. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my target. I have that within the TikTok and Instagram to reach other people. And maybe in the future, I'm going to, I'm not sure if you are familiar with the Snapchat. Snapchat, it's like uh, another platform. It's uh, many people, they are super active within Middle East, but it's not for only sharing knowledge. They are sharing other stuff. And for me, I think it's a good opportunity to show them how we can use this platform in a good way to share our knowledge, to learn learn from each other so yeah ho hopefully i can do it to do more yeah. well we'll have to we'll look for that well may i really really appreciate your time spending some time and getting to know you and and sharing some of the work that you're doing and we're we'll sure certainly have with the blog post that's out on buckleyplanet.com you'll be able to get all of uh, may's contact information so i think like most mvps you are happy to hear and connect with anybody that reaches out to you i'm assuming yes yeah, yeah, yeah. So for sure, they can reach me out any on any social media. I already put it on everywhere. Yeah. Excellent. And then, of course, if they have questions about the Power Platform, you have another resource, a new MVP to go and, yeah. and connect with. So, May, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I really enjoy it. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow.